Hey everyone, so today I just wanted to show you how easy you can adjust a built-in Articulate Storyline quiz question to suit a more customized learning experience without really having to do a convert to freeform or anything crazy like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here with a multiple choice quiz question slide. Now you'll see that you have your title and then you have the container that will house all of your questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to pull in this image that I sourced. I believe I found this on Pixabay. And I'm just going to line that up. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. And then this is going to be the backdrop for our, our question. And I'm just going to use the send to back functionality to send it backwards so that our multiple choice is above it. Now, what I want to do with my title is I'm going to add a knowledge check. I'm going to bold it. I'm going to align it to the left. And I think I want to pull that over just a little bit. I'm also going to change the color using the eyedropper to maybe this blue of his tie. Perfect. And actually, you know what? I think I want to align it right. And then I'll move it up a little bit. Okay. Actually, you know what? I don't even think I want it there. I think I'm going to use the title to create my question. So the question will be, which of the following is not a writing implement? And um, select the correct response when Submit. And then I'm also going to, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the image over a little bit so that the guy is over here. And then that way we've got a little bit more room. So I'm going to adjust this. And then I'm going to reduce the size, I think, a little bit. You know what, I'm actually going to, I think, format this shape so, and I might pull it in this brown, make the font white. then format the shape to add a little bit of transparency. Perfect. I think that looks good. And I'm also going to send this shape back so that it appears behind the hair of our individual. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this multiple choice and we're going to enter in, in the form view, our options. So let's select paper, highlighter, pencil, and marker. And then I'm going to select my correct response and switch over to slide view. So what we need to do here is we need to adjust our multiple choice question. Now you'll see that you can't move it. If I'm using my arrows, you can't move it past the canvas. So what we need to do is we just need to minimize it and drag it to where we want. 
so I like the positioning of this and I'm just going to go ahead and format the font to increase the size and I'm going to change the color to match that tie color and make it bold. And I'm just going to copy the formatting using the Format Painter. I'm going to double click the Format Painter and then select all of the items I want to format. And there we have our options. I think I'm going to just bring it down a little bit. So when we preview this, you'll see that we have our customized multiple choice question uh, built in functionality within Storyline. We didn't do anything crazy with convert to free form. So all of this you could do just using the basic um, Storyline slides. So we select our correct response, hit submit, and then we get our correct feedback. It's just as easy as that.